It's a, it's a very touching story. Bob and I had been on the, uh, on the staff for about three years, and we had a pass. We could get into Disneyland any time we wanted. And my wife Elizabeth and I were at, uh, at the park one night, very late, and we had this most wonderful day. We had done all the rides, and it was just great. And at the end of the day, we just lingered on Main Street just before going out the old exit when we used to go out in the parking lot was back there. And we saw some singular figure, practically empty park, and one figure was just walking down the road looking into the windows of the, of the stores. And I said, well, oh, that's Walt. I mean, let's, let's tell him how much, how much fun we had tonight. So, so we waited for him to come, and he said, oh, Dick, oh, Elizabeth. And we were talking for a minute, and I said, Walt, I just want you to know we had the most wonderful day. It was just incredible. And at the end, when Tinkerbell was flying across the sky and the music was playing and the sky rockets were going off, I just started to cry like a baby. It was happy tears, but they were just coming out of my, my eyes. And he said, you know, I do it every time. <laughs> and I just yeah, it was awesome. And just, right there, we and we went up on top of the fire engine station there. And I, I dearly remember that because he just loved the park. He loved the things in it. He loved what it symbolized. He loved what it meant. You know, there's a, there are happy endings. There's a good world out there. Nice, positive things. He was a very positive man. This year happens to be the 50th anniversary of the, the very first song you wrote. <laughs> Walt had a hobby. We thought it was a hobby. He had a thing he was very proud of, and he used to bring VIPs down to one of the sound stages. And in the corner of this sound stage was a, like a jungle room. And they would come in and they would see this thing that was going on. It was called audio animatronics. You know about them now, but not 50 years ago. And people would see orchids singing and birds, you know, standing on perches singing. And Tiki Torches going, hug a book, hug a book. And all of a sudden it would rain. And they would see this show that they were creating for the enchanted Tiki Room. And they would say, it, it's great, Walt. What the heck is it? You know, <laughs> that's what they would say. And so uh, we were called down one day to this room. And we were sitting on bridge chairs. I remember that. And uh, the show started. And down came this cascade of birds singing. Let's all sing like the birdies sing. And we were, listening to this thing, and at the end, when, when the rain stopped and everybody was happy again, we said, Walt, well, it's great, what is it? <laughs> and he looked right at us and said, you guys are going to write me a song that's going to explain all this. <laughs> and so uh, we said, uh, yeah, okay, well, Walt, well, uh, you have to believe, we're going to write lyrics, you have to believe, it's too bad you don't have a parrot. He thought for about a half a second, he said, we won't have one parrot, we'll have four parrots. We'll have a Dutch parrot, we'll have a German parrot, we'll have a Spanish parrot. He was going through a whole conception. And he said, what a kind of a song you're going to write. So we looked around and it was kind of a tropical room. So, well, a, well, a tropical song of a uh, calypso. So he said, yes, calypso. And what's it going to be called? Well, Enchanted Tiki Room is a bit of a, a nothing title. It's a great, good title for the place, but song title, no. But tiki is a great word. And if you're a songwriter and you hear words like tiki, it's kind of good. And so I remember thinking, tiki, 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 that's a great sound, tiki, tiki, tiki. Uh, how about we call it the tiki, tiki, tiki room? He says, that's it. When am I going to have the song? I need it. <laughs> with that, with that we, we wrote the following song that's been playing now for 50 years. And we just oh, they know this song. I'm sure they'll sing along. <laughs> Welcome to our tropical hideaway, you lucky people, you. If we weren't in the show starting right away, we'd be in the audience too. Everybody in the tiki 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 room, in the tiki 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 room. All the birds sing word and the flowers croon. That's the explanation.